Today, we'll teach you how to create rolling text animation in Filmora. Hey everyone, welcome to the Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box, click on the free download option. Now a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First, drop the default title on the timeline, change font to any bold font, enter your text, open advanced panel, change fill to gradient fill, create a gradient effect, adjust text position, then add another text and type your word. Turn on outline effect and turn off fill effect. Reduce outline thickness to 1, and move it below the gradient text. Click OK, and take a snapshot of it, drop the snapshot on track 2, move it below, repeat it until the text is vertically filled in the screen. Take snapshot of it. Next, delete all snapshot from the timeline and hide track 1, and drop second snapshot on track 2. Reduce the scale to 50%, and copy it on track 3, and move it below. Take another snapshot, delete the rest of the snapshot from the timeline. Drop the last snapshot on track 2, make it 10 seconds long, and increase the scale to 220%. Go to the animation, make it rolling from the top to the end. Export it. Now create second text in a different color by the same process. Now import both clips to the project media. Drop any clip on track 1, go to the effect, and apply BCC Lens Correction on your clip. Then access the effect setting panel, change correction to negative 100, and hide the clip. Then drop the second clip on track 2, again apply BCC Lens Correction on the clip, change correction to 05, vertical perspective to 50, and set scale X. Adjust perspective if required. Go to the basics, and adjust Y axis to 590. Copy clip from track 2 to track 3. Access the setting panel and change vertical perspective to negative 45. Go to the basic and adjust its position towards the lower side. Unhide track 1 and adjust the track 2 and track 3 width according to track 1 along with some adjustments in perspectives and X and Y axis. Now add a black shadow effect to track 2 and track 3 clips to make it more realistic. Add further shadow to track 2 and track 3 by using black color. Drop black color on track 4 make it 10 seconds long, and crop it into a thick line. Find the double line under the mask. Change horizontal to 100 and rotate it to 90 degrees, and increase the blur strength. Go to the basic, reduce the scale to 31, go back to mask, do some adjustment in blur strength, now copy it and paste it on track 5, and adjust its position. Now click on render preview to see the final preview. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!